you, well, you got that uh, first little walkthrough in. Is it? Uh, yeah. Is it all coming back to you like riding a bike? Yeah, it's coming back to me like riding a bike. It's a, it's an honor to be here, man. I'm happy to be here. Happy to bring what I bring to the table here, the Minnesota Vikings, and love the coaching staff, love the players. Uh, I still have no idea how to get around here. It's a big, nice facility, man. I've gotten lost two or three times already, so I'm just taking water through a fire hose, man. Holy cow, I don't even know where lunch is. i got to get to lunch at some point. Have they explained your role, what your role will be? I think my role for now is to come in and be a Minnesota Viking and help this team win games, however that looks. So if the coaches tell me, hey, get that defense ready for this week to play the Chargers, that's what I'm going to do, you know what I mean? And uh, that's kind of how I'm approaching it, too, is I want to earn the respect of the players on these, this team. A lot of these guys have no idea who I am. A lot of these guys have never played with me before. So for me, I want to earn the respect of these guys. I want to show up every day and show them I'm willing to do whatever role that is. If you need me to carry your pads off the field after practice, I'll do it. I really, I really don't care what that role is for now. I just want to earn the respect of guys on this team. I think that's really important to make sure I do. You don't want to be the guy that comes in here and expects anything. No one's entitled to anything in this world. Um, and I learned that this last free agency period, that we're not entitled to anything no matter what you, what you think you do, what you think you earn. Uh, sometimes life throws you a curveball. So I'm just in, I'm just enjoying it, man. I'm in purple, I'm back in purple. It's been four years since I've been in purple, and uh, I love it up here, man. The fans and everyone's embraced me pretty well. So why do you think the, I mean, you mentioned the, the weight. Why do you think that took as long as it did? To Dude, I wish I knew. So if you could do some digging, that would be awesome. <laughs> um, of course, people will find, people always want to point a finger, right? Whether it's me, whether it's uh, my mix-up with uh, my dog, my dog Rhett, Brett Rippon on Christmas last year, uh, Nickelodeon game, not a good game to do do that, right? Um, some people pointed to that. Some people have pointed to I didn't have a good season. Some people have pointed to, man, bad guard market. Uh, I think it's a mix of a lot of different things. I think that... I was holding my worth early in the process, and uh, maybe I should have called teams earlier and said, hey, I'll take less than what you guys actually think, because maybe they viewed me up here. But end of the day, this is God's plan. He opened this door for me to be a Minnesota Viking. You guys are probably going to hear me beat a dead horse with it, but I, I love Jesus, man. I feel like this is where I need to be. This is where I want to be. And why did, you know, why did God take eight months to just bring me here? That I could have done this you know, six months ago. I have no idea. I wish I could have done that, because I could be in the playbook by now and know my teammates, stuff like that. But I wish I had the answer. I think some things in life you don't have the answer to, so I just got to put my head down, go to work, and hopefully change that for next offseason. How wonderful is it to work with Coach Cooper and Coach Scotty? It's great, man, just being in the offensive line room with them, uh, just being around Coach Coop, Coach Scotty. Love those guys. Um, I had three years in Denver with those guys, and I have a lot of respect for them. And a lot of translation from what I did in Denver with Coach Mike Munchak, with Coach Coop as the assistant offensive line coach in terms of terminology, things like that. So feeling pretty comfortable with it, but for the first day, man, like I said, I'm just trying to trying to get my bearings first. Could you play Sunday? Could you play Sunday? Um, could I play Sunday? Come on, man. I'm, I'm from Wiggins, Colorado, brother. I'll do anything, man. I'm just a country boy, dude. I'm not a prima donna. So would I know which direction to go at this point? I'm not going to lie to you, bud. No, probably not. <laughs> I just did a walkthrough. I don't know what I'm doing yet. So um, like I said, I just got to kind of take it day by day. But of course, man, if they want me to play, that's what I came here to do. You know, I don't care if I don't know what I'm doing. I'll just ask somebody. But whatever they need from me, I'll do. If they need me to serve water on the sidelines, dude, I'll do it. Dalton, how long has this process been in the works for you guys? I know you were playing the cow and mouse game with fans on Twitter and stuff like that. Fun. <laughs> Dude, I wanted a job, man. The truth is I wanted a job, man. I love this game of football. And um, I wasn't willing to take a job for what, you know, I had a lot of people get it twisted. You know, I had a lot of, I had 16 different teams in the NFL reach out to me. I had a lot of teams, but um, it just wasn't for what I believed I should take. And, you know, I'm not a guy that thinks I got to get everything I'm worth or even half or even a quarter. I mean, I, listen, I just wanted to play football, but I wasn't willing to do it for what some of these teams did. And came on a visit, loved the visit um, where the Vikings were at and where I was at. Um, just wasn't wasn't matching up. Um, so I think that they took some time, and I think that some things happened, maybe injuries. I don't know what it was that they're like, okay, we want you to come in now. And I'm like, hey, I'm ready to go. Let's rock and roll. So I think that... I think the cat and mouse game was just a part of it. And, you know, the funny part is, you know, I had just landed in Denver from working out in Dallas training. And I uh, posted a picture. The fans, they're going to be so angry with me, man. But I just posted a picture of the, uh, the departures. But I had just landed. I was just getting back to work out, bro. I'm just I'm like, I'm going to try to mix something up, man. One of these GMs has to have a Twitter, right? right. <laughs> so where, where are you at with uh, left side versus right side? Like, Zero. But right now, man, right now, I just was out there helping the one defense get ready, bro. So um, I think that coming in on a Wednesday, being my first day, I think they're getting ready to play the Chargers. They're in full swing. Um, I know that they want my help in some way, shape, or form. So right now, I think my role is to, to help to get the defense ready to play Sunday. When you were here on that. 
cafeteria for when it was in a conference? Yeah, it was crazy, man. I put on some cleats. I was just working out at the park. Oh, sorry, sorry. about that. Um, in Pradera, in my neighborhood, which was some cleats, you know, kids are playing at the park and hear this grown man, 28 year old, has his cleats on running around in the grass, man, feeling silly. And agent called and said, hey, I think a deal's getting done in Minnesota today. I had a visit with a team last night that I was going to sign a deal with. Um, and maybe that put pressure on them, I'm not sure. But uh, I had a visit I was going on yesterday. I was going to sign a contract. So Vikings swooped in, and now I'm out here in purple. Who is that team? I don't know, man. You guys are trying to get me in trouble, man. <laughs> Here's the deal. I just don't want to get in trouble. I just sure. want to stay. I want to stay in my lane. I want people to know I'm a respectful dude. I'm here to work, man. So I would, but then I don't want to, I don't want to get a call from my agent telling me I'm an idiot. So gotcha. maybe off the record we can talk about <laughs> it. <laughs> when you were here on the visit in August, uh, who did you get a chance to talk to then and what were your impressions of it? Yeah, I got to talk to Coach O'Connell. I got to talk to Coach Coop, Coach Riscotti, Coach Wes Phillips. Got to talk to Queasy, which was awesome. Um, so I got to talk to most every single person. And I think from what Coach O'Connell really wanted to get from that is, hey, let's get you down here. Let's get you a feel for what we're doing down here in Minnesota. Um, let's get to know you so that if there comes a point in this season that we need you, we already feel pretty comfortable with you. Is kind of how he described it, and that's kind of how it worked out. So it was an amazing visit, man. I loved it. I got, I got to that uh, hotel, the Omni Lakes, and there was like three or four Vikings fans waiting right there in the lobby yelling skull. So I was like, let's go, man. They called me Risner, and I was like, dang, man, you got to know it's Risner, bro. You got to know it's Risner. So if I get any Risners, man, I don't know. So you, you talked about the workouts you've done recently. Like how, how, I mean, do you, how much do you feel like you have to prove on the field, or how much do you feel like you can oh, man, I mean, that's what it's all about, right? Coming off uh, uh, starting four years in Denver, you know, I missed four games in four years, man. Um, I could have missed a lot more, too. Um, but I'm a guy that, like, you're going to have to severely tear or break something on my body to keep me out the field. So I did a lot of things in Denver I'm really proud of. Pass protection in terms of talking about stats of sacks, all that. But we won't get into it. Um, I feel like I'm a really good guard in the NFL. Um, so I have a lot to prove because me being available when I was shows the exact opposite. And... That pisses me off. Um, but as a good teammate and as a man of God and someone that comes from humble beginnings, I know the way I shouldn't come in here and act. So I'm not going to I'm not going to be that way when I, if I'm ever given that opportunity, it's going to be a different person that comes out. Right. Because there's a lot I want to prove. There's a lot I want to accomplish. There's a lot I want to show the world of football that I am that they said I was. So how do you stay in shape? Was it just some place out of the park? I mean, dude, the 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 motivation, the internal motivation, right? To do, I mean, it was six, seven months. I mean, our season was over two weeks into January, you know, and I didn't sign until two weeks into September, so I don't even know the math on that, but I'm pretty sure that's six or seven months. It was a lot of days. I'm just a, a guy that believes in just grinding, man. So I'd wake up at like 5.30 every day and make sure I'm trying to get to the gym by 6 or 6.30. My wife's like, what are you doing that for? You have nothing to do the rest of the day. You don't even have a job right now. And I'm like, it, it keeps me motivated. It makes me feel like I'm grinding. I want to outwork people. I want to make sure I'm doing what's right. I got a lot of great coaches, Duke Miniweather in Dallas, Lauren Lando in uh, Colorado, who was Denver's strength coach for five years. Worked out with both of those guys off and on. And it's cardio every day. It's lifting every single day. And then in terms of offensive line work, if you can find somewhere in the gym to hold a bag to come and hit you or if you can put your cleats on and go to the park and and kick step and punch step and all that stuff that's what you got to do so um, it was a new new deal for me I mean I'm coming off of four years in Denver where I was just there I was a starting guard yeah there was ups and downs but at the same time you know I, I haven't went through this free agency process I've never had to lift at a gym I was always at the, the Broncos facility so a lot of new for me in my life and, and what will be like I mean does it take how long before you're in game shape or is that a process or are you game ready right now I think that's up to the coaches man um, I think every single person in here will probably tell you um, that they believe in themselves right and I believe in myself so you tell me I need to be ready to go I'm gonna be ready to go but uh, I kind of mentioned it earlier but coming in here earning the respect of guys around me grinding my ass off showing these coaches the type of player that I am um, and if that's their decision when they decide that I'm ready whatever role that they want to have me in, I'm gonna be ready to go do you, do you, I mean, when you look at what uh, their body of work, I mean, do you, do you thrive on running the football if you're a guard and offensive lineman or not necessarily so in the NFL anymore? I love to do it all. I love to pull, man. I love to pull. Um, that's something that I've always loved to do. I love to pass protect, too. I got long arms, man. Um, I'm not a big phenom. If you want to measure my biceps, they're probably 18 inches around. Um, I'm not. You guys look at me, you're like, man, this dude don't even, he looks like a trash man. Um, I, I'm just one of those guys that's going to work my, my, my ass off every single day, bro. So if I'm given the opportunity, I'm going to be ready to roll and ready to rock. Lunch is upstairs. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, man. I'm going to walk out and go to the right. God bless you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you.